yourselves, please. My name is Jan Burst. And I'm Bob Burst. What do you think about Chris? I like Chris. He was a good boy. He reminded me of my son. Yeah, and, you know, he strolled in here like he knew the place. He just wanted to be free. And he just wanted to live in his own environment. Amen. And, you know, he came to us for advice and for shelter. And, you know, we just brought him in like our own son. And, you know, Jan over here, you know, she tried to warn him. You know, go back to your mom. Listen to your pops. But he just, he wouldn't take it. You gotta let the boy do what he wants to do in the end. I figured he'd grow out of it. I thought I'd see him again. Watch as Chris McCandless burns all his money. I guess it doesn't really work when you're burning money in the rain. It's a little difficult. Sorry, we're having technical difficulties here. Introduce yourself, please. My name is Wayne Westerberg. Now tell me what you think about Chris. I was like five when figured of him. He had a little wild streak in him, you know. I picked him up in Carthage and he worked for me for a while. But, you know, never really got the chance to get to know him that great. I had to go to jail and whatnot and he split. I to do his thing. Introduce yourself. I'm Corinne McCandless. And what did you think of Chris? Him and I were always really close. Um, he wrote lots of letters to me over the five years that he was gone. And, you know, we had very different opinions of our parents. And, you know, sometimes I get so frustrated with Chris's actions. He didn't put any thoughts into it whatsoever, but he was always my brother. Always my brother. I couldn't stay mad at him. You know, he's like, he's my blood. Parents, you know, after, you know, forgiving Chris for what happened, you know, both my parents and I feel a lot better now. And I'm, I'm starting my own life. I have my own kids and my own family. And I'm running my own business, you know. Life, life is good. But I'll always remember my brother Chris. It's Alex Supertramp here. Just arrived in Alaska. I hitchhiked all the way here and stowed away on trains. And I'm about to walk into the wild. Come with me. Introduce yourself, please. My name is Samuel Walter McCandless, but you can call me Walt. So, Walt, what did you think about Chris? I know he's your son, but tell me some of your thoughts. He was a smart kid. He was always good. He listened. But we fought. He had problems with authority, I think. Yeah. One of the things I really think set him off on his little adventures was when he found out about the past. I never knew when he went to California and talked to the neighbors and 
found out what happened with my ex-wife and Billy. And I just don't think he ever forgave me. But I should have been honest with him from the start. And feel guilty. I don't know what else to say. I miss him and I love him. I'm Chris McCandless and I'm into the wild. I've been hiking for a ways now and I found a bus. And it's empty and it has a bed and a stove and I have to go to get firewood for it and I have to collect food and I will be staying in the bus. Please introduce yourself. I'm Billy McCandless. And how are your feelings towards Chris? Um, you know, he, he was kind of a rebel. Um, he did really good in high school. And I think if he would have stayed on the same path, you know, he could have been something really, really successful. And, you know, part of me blames my husband for what happened. You know, we forgive Chris, but, you know, a lot of it was on my husband's fault. And I just wish he was still here with me. I'm sorry. <laughs> he was a good kid. He was really good. And I miss him. I miss him a lot. This is Alex Supertramp again. I've recently become really sick. I don't know. I, I've lost a lot of weight and I'm really weak. And I don't know if it was something I ate or if it was something I didn't eat. But I have two weeks to go get food. I'm hoping this will get better, but it doesn't look too good. I left a note outside of the bus. If anybody comes, I ask them to wait for me if I'm out collecting food, berries, or something. I just I hope someone comes and helps me.